Hey yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one today. Today's magnet fishing video. It's fun because me and dad, oh yeah, look at him, old dad. We're back at it again. Oh boy. And we are gonna be, again, targeting high, highly, highly concentrated traffic, a lot of people in one little area with ponds and water. But today, look at that juicy little dock right there. Holy smokes. So we got that. That dock is pretty new, but for the last two and three years, it has been used a ton. This is the fairgrounds. So this is our Kansas State Fairgrounds. And if you guys know anything about state fairs, you know how many people go to them. So millions of people, hundreds of thousands. I don't know, but let's get into it. Today's video is sponsored by Ducks Waterfowl. If you guys went, haven't went and checked out the website, I will link all of our products down below. This is our khaki hat. Haven't showed all my magnet fishing fans yet, but if you want to support the channel, go down in the description below and pick you up something from Ducks and support your boy. Well, dad's ready. This is what we're going to be using again. We got the old, I'm going to be throwing the 1150. I'm not getting them close. I, 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 I know. The last time I got them close, you guys freaked out, and yeah, my some fingers were in the way, so I get it. They're 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 strong. But Dad's gonna be throwing around the 830 pound. I'm gonna be throwing around the 1150 pound. Let's get to it. Thinking the only thing about this dock is that it's new. It hasn't been used for a bunch of years, but it's been here for two or three years minimum. So look at these kids leaving bicycle marks down this thing. Come on now. I just seen it last year and there was absolutely a ton of people on here. They use this dock uh, for boat rides. So little boats pull up during the fair right here and you get on, you can go trolley around out here and on your little tugboat. But it's pretty neat. If you guys have never been to the Kansas State Fair, I recommend it. It is pretty, pretty cool. Well, there we are. I got you guys on the old GoPro. If you guys like the old chest mount GoPro shot here, drop me a big old thumbs up real quick. But uh, let's get after it, shall we? This got a aluminum rail on around it. You can open them. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you can open these bad boys up. Don't know if I'm supposed to, but we're just gonna send it. Dad says it's about six foot deep. Yeah, I'd say four to six foot, probably. I think my first tactic, I'm gonna drop it here and I'm just gonna walk around the whole edge, dragging it. There's some rocks down there. Yeah, it's a lot of silty, silty mud down there. Wow. Uh-oh. Dad got something. What do you got? What'd you get? Oh, ooh, that's the, that is a brand new one. This is the third one of these that we found in. That is brand new. Dang. First find of the day. Dad just killed it with the, uh, pull bell we don't but have gloves on. that oh man we need gloves my bad we're so we're gonna go get gloves my bad guys but look at that wow that is sweet yeah let's let's uh, go get our gloves on before we get yelled at we get excited guys I'm sorry uh, but whenever we get somewhere we bail out of the truck and we're like let's go and I usually do forget this and he reminds me so my bad well, my bad, my bad. And probably need to be kicking myself in the butt because we all know I could be needing a tetanus shot if I don't wear these bad boys, but here we go. Oh, Dad, that cow, that little, I'm going to call it a cowbell, a little pole bell, that is clean. Let me tell you, he did good at that. That is sweet. Didn't take long. He only, he was only in the water for about a couple minutes, honestly. Come on, give us something good. Well, it's looking like this place is pretty clean or that silt is just so thick that it's hard to, hard to find the stuff because it's probably so deep in the mud. But I'm gonna try in between the wall here and the railing, see if anybody's dropped anything coming down this ramp. Wow, see, see what I mean? It's just muddy, muddy, silty, but my first find did get a sinker and a hook. Look at that. Throw her in the old bucket. Got a sinker and a hook. That's about it. Well, 
we're gonna keep at it oh yeah it's a chair oh look at that <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to put that nasty thing on this deck. I'm gonna go take it up there in the grass. Watch out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hang it over the side That's nasty right there. I mean really nasty. That sill is Disgusting Well, Here we go. We got us a new lawn chair dad Anybody that wants to come to the fairgrounds and have a lovely seat and a very clean brand new chair Here she is good find that was a heavy find. That old 836 pound brought her up after a couple tries. It was in the mud too. Yeah, it was. Oh man, I've been sitting here working something out of this silt. Look at all the bubbles. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, it's look how heavy it is. See that? I mean, it's heavy, heavy. I still got it. I still. Chain. Oh. Look at that. Yep, look at that chain. Look at this. That's a good chain. Yeah. Holy <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's got the ends on it still. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out of that. Oh, God. It takes a good magnet oh. to get that out of the mud. Yeah. Here, you're going to have to hold one side. There we go. Look at that. What is it? Six, seven foot log chain? Oh, that's good. Look at that. Foot. Look at that. Both ends are perfect. Perfect. It's been in that water a while. I literally have been just bobbing that thing up and down forever, that's working it out of that silt. Good. That is freaking awesome. That's a good magnet. That's one of my best finds, I feel, you know, all in all. But not, uh, that's a hell of a log chain. Well, 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 it really slowed down here at this dock. Like I said, we're going to be hitting a couple different places, so we called it quits on this one. The last good thing we caught here was this sweet log chain. I mean, it is almost in perfect shape. That's awesome, too, because I don't have a chain, and I have needed a chain so many times, it ain't even funny. But we got Dad over there throwing the chair away. Oh man, I need a bed liner bad. Anybody out there that wants to sponsor the old Dodge and give me a bed liner with a nice brand new topper, you let me know because uh, I'm wanting a topper so bad, but I don't want to buy an old one and the new ones are like two grand. I think a topper would be, topper would be great. So hit me up if you're a business owner and you want to uh, jump on board with the channel. But we're gonna get back at it, on to the next spot we go. Well, we are here and today I told you guys we're gonna be jumping around pond to pond, dock to dock, and really just hitting more places. I, all the other videos that I've done, we've really just stuck to one pond or one lake and hit the docks on it but now we're really traveling dock to dock and pond to pond so we're pond hopping you can say but this one right here you guys may recognize this this was the first dock and my first magnet fishing video this year that i ever put up was at this one and i had a horrible magnet compared to the two extremely strong magnets that dad and i are throwing around so with that old magnet i was just by myself so now we're going to give it a whack and uh, use both magnets both of us and i'm sure this is, I'll show you the dock when you get up there. You can tell how old it is and how many people come to this place. This is our city park. So this pond gets fished out literally daily. All right. This is the first place that I ever made a magnet fishing video this year. So. These new mat. Ooh, there's something. Yep, there's something. Look at that. What's that? Look at that. What? Copper? Those are... Oh, so copper wiring. Yeah. Somebody co stealing copper. That's what it is. Those are cut. That's Look how it's cut. That's double lot copper wiring. You think someone dumped it in here? Yeah. Wow, no way. Yeah. We just found stolen copper. I wouldn't doubt if we get a whole bunch of that. I bet you we're going to find a lot of that. I think you're right. That's Copper great. is magnetic? Yep. No, pennies are magnetic? Pennies, there's a lot is of Is this beans. brass or copper? It's copper. That is copper. Copper wiring. So, cut copper wiring. You can see the if we catch, If we catch a bunch of this stuff, you guys, it looks like the insulation has been burned off. And anybody that understands what I'm saying, you can tell that this is cut down wire 
and the insulation has been burned off. We might have just ran into a stolen bundle of copper. But on other news, we got, like I said, we're going to find a lot of bottle tabs and look at all those hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six hooks on that first retrieve. Wow. Yeah, so I'm right back. I'm right back where I found the copper, and there's there's a pile of something here. Oh yeah, look, look, yep. look. Yep. The same thing. Two pieces and two bottle tabs. Yep. More copper. Uh oh. Uh oh. We stumbled across something, boys. We got a hanging. There's a good hook and leader. Uh oh. This ain't good. This is no good. Actually, it's awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff right here, Dad. I, every time I drop the magnet down, I'm getting something. Oh, boy. See what we got this time. I haven't even turned the camera off. Oh, I'm stupid. Look. Look at that. Yeah. Three more pieces. And a rubber band. Three more pieces. And you can tell looking at that insulation it has been in a fire a lot of people that steal copper like this will make a fire throw the copper in it and they'll burn off the rubber insulation and that is what you can tell is the deal after we get done i'm going to put all the copper together in a pile and we're going to see how much we got oh yeah so look at it i'm just going to keep pulling it out look at that four pieces that yep. time <laughs> copper and batteries oh look at this dad that's a that's a pretty new battery yep Look at all the hooks. Look at all the hooks. I got two more hooks on mine, too. Wow. If you guys understand what I'm talking about. I, I know a lot of you viewers that on my magnet fishing videos, you're older. So you probably understand what I'm saying about this copper situation. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you agree on this uh, theory of all this copper coming out of here. But watch. I'm not, I'm not going to cut the camera. I'm not going to cut. You guys will not see a seam split. Nothing. I just dropped it in there. I'm going to bob it. I already feel stuff sticking to it. Check it out. Now we're just going to pull it right up. Hopefully I don't make a fool out of myself. Nope. There we go. See? One more piece. Boom. So they obviously dumped it in one spot. That's for sure. Uh-oh. Dad found it on the other side of the dock over there. Uh-oh. It's spread out. It's not in one, one spot, huh? Oh. This just got real. There's something big down here. And I think it's just a ton of copper. I think I got... Uh-oh, what did Dad find? Oh, it's a casing of a knife. Casing. Which, yep, a casing, casing to a fillet knife. A Danielson. Oh, Danielson! <laughs> Fishing reel. Look at that. I'll dispose of it for you. Well, there we go. Cleaning up the old waters. I don't know, but it feels like I got something extra heavy on here. Or heavier, maybe it's just mud. Nope, look at that. Hey, another fishing reel handle. Wonder why all the handles are always by themselves on these things. I swear we found probably five or six, maybe ten handles of reels, you know? Not here, but you know, all together. A lot of the good stuff is right underneath the dock. I know. How far those spaces are on the Yeah, dock. these cracks, I can guarantee you people just. Everything falls through there. Yeah dropped a lot of stuff in there I bet all right we pulled it through a quarter of it see if we got anything more copper and a Bud Light orange cap look at that man we're hitting jackpot look at this I knew there was gonna be a but what's that a pork rind bait cap first one I've seen of those and then again we got three more pieces of copper I'm planning on being rich after this ordeal well there we go I feel something on there. Pliers. <laughs> Look at that needle nose pliers. Yeah. They have been in there a while. The rubber's still on them. But look, they are they are rusty and crusty. I don't know if those oh, will... Oh, those will clean up. Think those will clean up? They might. <laughs> That's a good find. Heck yeah, we're on a roll now. We got copper and we got pliers. That's probably the pliers they use to cut the copper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Another piece of copper and a treble hook. First treble hook. There we go. I don't know. No, that's smaller than a skateboard. That looks like a bearing to a fishing rod. You're right. Got another piece of copper. 
you know the usual the usual uh-huh all right I haven't been showing every clip here but uh we've literally got up a ton of this copper a ton of the copper either there either there's a bunch of mud on this magnet or something's something's on it oh yeah look at that oh pliers another pair of pliers and copper maybe they were using two pairs of pliers <laughs> to cut the copper you know how it goes criminals don't want their old fingerprints tooken chucking the chucking the tools in the water as well huh but i'm joking yeah but uh second pair of pliers about 200th piece of copper well feels like we got something good on there oh more copper three pieces of copper add to the collection on there but then we got this looks like something from a really old stringer or something well i think i found the load of copper because i literally sat my magnet down and it was like boom it stuck right to it look at that that's one that's literally just putting it down and bringing it up holy cow that's like 12 pieces right there yeah i might have broke apart a bundle that they threw in so i'm gonna look watch i'm not gonna cut the film here just gonna drop it in oh yeah it's just magnetic right off the bat right there wow wow see what we pull up here i'm not gonna cut like i said i'm not gonna cut this scene because i feel like i am onto the copper juice right here to be honest Let's see what we got yeah look more more copper boy howdy man it feels like i got something big no it's just copper every time copper all right you guys are going to be absolutely amazed at the end of this video when we put a pile of all this copper up how is that well looky there i have no and i mean no idea what in the world this homemade gig is um but i just pulled the magnet underneath here i went underneath from over there all the way over here and i pulled that up if you have any clue what this is drop a comment down below and let me know well i threw the magnet in over there and i am dragging it under this dock like this Let's see if we can get us anything this time she's almost here there she is Let's see if we got us anything oh yeah got a lot of silt and look at that another piece of copper so the biggest two finds of the day and most repeating bud light lime and copper oh well that's gonna be it on the old magnet fish and let's take a look at what all we got here today because it was I, I gotta tell you what it was a very interesting day to say the least to start off with the small stuff we got a holder for a fillet knife an old can that dad found and here's this ordeal that i found again drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think that this little ordeal is this pvc ordeal i don't i don't know and dad found a beautiful brand new little bitty fishing pole cowbell as well as i found two Hey, they've been in there for a while. Look how thick that rust and corrosion is. Two pair of needle nose. Dad found a couple batteries, pole stuff, and then we got this. The copper wire. Yeah. Now, like I had stated, a lot of you guys out there know what this is. This was cut down, burned. They burned the insulation off of it, and then someone probably got scared and dumped it overboard. Uh, they might have been getting chased by the cops. Who knows what happened here? Uh, I was going to call the cops and report it, but if we had found a 9mm or a handgun or something like that, I probably would, but this is all we found. It wasn't a whole, I mean, that's quite a bit for magnet fishing, but you know how it goes. But I think the, the main find of the day above the copper is this bad boy. Look at that. The old log chain. I think that's really the ultimate find of the day. The copper was extremely cool just for the simple fact that we weren't supposed to find that, I can guarantee it. But me and dad, we got after it today, threw the magnets around everywhere. He was repping the 800 pound, I had the 1100 pound. And believe me, if it was there to catch, we caught it. 
But I want you guys to drop a huge thumbs up for these videos, all these magnet fishing videos that I've been putting out. If you guys like them, drop me a big old thumbs up. I want to thank you guys all for watching yet again. I see all the new subs, all you new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I welcome you with open arms. Let's have a good time out here and catch some treasure. I had a great time. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.